Hello, hello everyone. My name is Jess Chalem. I will talk to you today about the how to experience the power of Holy Spirit. It is my Bible study where I started before I was speaking about being born again. And I continue with this area of being born again. And if you are, it is the first time that you visit on this channel and it is the first time you listen to me, I suggest that after you listen to this clip, you go down on the down and um, you uh, there is a link below of the playlist that you can go through the whole playlist so you don't miss any of the teachings that I was teaching about being born again. It is a very impo important teaching I, I believe and you are going to be so much blessed and maybe even your spiritual life and your physical life will also be blessed. Amen. It is if it, it is our first time you visit on this channel I also suggest you to subscribe and so that you will not miss any of these teachings in the future. If you feel free to do that. And uh, pray the living God. What I know so far, to experience the power of Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit must manifest himself to you. Oh my, the, power, the Holy Spirit must reveal himself to you. What does that mean? It means that... You have you have to be revealed by Holy Spirit. You know we can. Uh, I can just give example. We can be in the room praying, and uh, some people will start to experience the Holy Spirit, but not all. It's because those who did not experience that power, because if they did not was not revealed by the Holy Spirit. Um, Holy Spirit would manifest himself to some people, not every not everyone. Um, even if there can be two people praying or there can be two people in the room and Holy Ghost, it can happen that m all can experience but it can also happen that is only some few or uh, maybe only one or two will be revealed by the Holy Spirit and it depends on how he manifests himself to those people. The power of Holy Spirit or Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit when it comes so in order to make it known that there is the Holy Spirit or if, if you want to know there is Holy Spirit there must be manifestation of Holy Spirit that is can be you will hear some people start speak with tongues or prophesy or Maybe people does not do anything, but it can be the feelings of Holy Spirit in the room. Like I told, there can be wine or can be anything that will make it known that there, ha there is the Holy Spirit in the place. The power of... Uh, so, the question is how you can be revealed by the Holy Spirit, how can you start to experience the power of Holy Spirit? When we go back to the day of Pentecost, when the disciples of Jesus were in the room praying, and uh, suddenly there was a great wind, the sound of wind in the room, and all of them experienced that and they all started to speak with tongues that means that the holy spirit came to all of them and they were all started to speak with tongues so that's the manifestation of holy spirit and um, 
I, I'm going to read to you in Jan chapter 14 verse 21 24 he that has my commandments and he keep them he is, is the he the one that loves me and he that loves me shall be loved by my father and I will love him and he will manifest myself to him I read from the um, King James version of Bible so you can see that Jesus he is he was explaining how he ma he manifested himself to some people we understand not everyone or oh, But how to start to get Jesus to come to you and manifest himself to you? Though in the John chapter 14, 21-24, he said, He that has my commandments, and he keeps them. He is the one that loves me. So you must have to love Jesus. And you must have to love Jesus. And you don't only just love him by saying, I love, I love, I love. But you have to keep his commandments. And uh, after you keep commandments, you say, you shall be loved by my father. You shall be loved by the father. And the father will love you and he will love you and he will come to you and manifest himself to you. That is very simple, isn't it? Yeah, it's very simple. So you must have to know that to love Jesus, that's the, that's the key to get to know the power of Holy Spirit. There is one thing that I would mention here. I was called the impartation of Holy Spirit. That is the, the person full of Holy Spirit is laying hands on you and you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. I can read from Acts from chapter 19 verse 6. And when John laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. So that is another way of being filled with the Holy Spirit that someone is laying hands on you and uh, the person who must be full of holy spirit i can also read another acts from verse acts chapter 8 verse 17 then peter and john laid their hands on them and they received the holy spirit So there is something I need to mention here. Holy Spirit is not like water. It is all substance like water like that you pour into the bowl or some anything. Holy Spirit is the spirit, is the living spirit. Is the spirit of God. Is the spirit that understand, is the spirit that has feelings, the spirit that can know things in a very supernatural way from deep inside of someone why what he understand the situation he understand why and wh why you need him and he understand your intention and he understand everything you cannot lie to holy spirit you cannot say that ah, I just need the Holy Spirit because mm, I just want to only to experience and then uh, you know like um, you must have desire from your heart desiring from heart you must be serious you must be knowing that I need Holy Spirit I'm doing this because I need Holy Spirit to, to be in my life and my heart it's not about something that you say that ah let me try and maybe i will also try i can explain experience or something like this 
I just I cannot just say you will not experience maybe you will experience in your own way because the, the Holy Spirit can manifest himself in different ways according to how a person is I mean he, himself what he think is sweet for him to manifest himself to that person so when you need Holy Spirit The first thing you need to have the humble heart and you must have to desire him. That's why the word of God say In John chapter 14 verse 17 The spirit of truth the world cannot receive him because it is neither sees him or knows him but you know him for he abides within you and he will be in you so the holy spirit is abiding within us because we understand who he is we know who he is and we respect him and when we say that we desire him he also understand that we desire him but the world the people of the world those people who are have already denied him or deniers of him maybe they just say let me test and i want to experience it. maybe i will see how it tastes maybe they will not he will not come to them or he can come to them in different way i cannot say he will not come to them because i don't know but that's the the holy spirit acts according to the heart So someone must have to change their hearts first, humble themselves and desire Holy Spirit with a humble heart. All those who seek him diligently, gently will find him. I can also read again to on 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. The natural man does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God for they are foolishness to him and he cannot understand them because they are spiritual discerned So you know the Lord understand if you want him if you want him you are just a joker he will also understand that this man is just a joker he is not he is so it's not like about so it is about the faith it is about from the heart is about humbling them yourself i have because uh, the lord also understand that the gift of holy spirit it's very very important it is like a glue for you to, to come to heaven no it's like it's it's so much important for you for any human to come to heaven it is not going to it cannot be just given as a test do you know to, to test it some kind of just some kind of testing he is the holy spirit When you get the Holy Spirit you shall not lose him. You shall not lose him because uh, you must have to you have given that the Holy Spirit you must have to keep him in your in his, inside of you. You must have to treat him well. You must have to take care of him. You must not make him angry. You must have to learn this I'm going to talk about in the some few other videos because he is going he has to to take you to heaven that means that you must have to die with him and how important it is this is how restricted he also him he restrict himself to you but you know there is one thing about it. there are some people who play with holy spirit the reason is you cannot even when you curse holy spirit or you there is no forgiveness and if you blaspheme holy spirit there is no forgiveness 
all other things can be forgiven, but not the sin of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And you have to understand that he is so much restricted. And that's the reason that you should be humble yourself. You shall know that I really need this. I need really need Holy Spirit in my life. And when I come, to, He come to me. I shall not lose Him until the day I'm leaving this world. I stop here, and I will. I will continue with the, the same topic to the next video and with the next next video i will tell you more about the holy spirit and how you really can get contact with him and um, i will just continue because now i was talking i was coming with my conclusion if you need holy spirit what you need to do so I suggest that you listen to the next video and um, if you are not su subscribed I suggest that you do that so you do not miss my next video and uh, I say th thank you so much for listening and um, we talk more let me pray for you dear Heavenly Father thank you so much for this opportunity for me to talk and thank you so much for the one who listened to the whole video in the name of jesus christ i i say that i did not i talk according to my own knowledge and uh, i know that the one holy spirit himself he will reveal even more to those who listen i'm asking you lord to reveal yourself to them to help them to understand, to help them to come close to you and help them, the one to listen. I'm praying for the blessings in their lives. I'm praying for the for the for for the gift of Holy Spirit and I'm praying for the being that they shall be filled with joy and happiness and